Happy heart swarming, every pony. Now, what kind of theory should we go through today? Maybe I could connect the lore of Wendigos with the ones portrayed on MLP and make a theory about Nightmare Moon being a malevolent spirit who possessed Luna? Maybe I could do a theory about the three ghosts of Heartswarming Eve. Like, maybe how Clover the Clever might have become an alicorn before taking up the role of the spirit of Heartswarming Future. Eh, unfortunately I couldn't make either of those episodes in time, so... Here's a theory about Applejack's parents! There's a lot of mystery surrounding Applejack's parents. What were their names? Are they still alive? Where were they during Applejack's flashbacks? Well, let's try and solve some of those mysteries right now with a single theory. Applejack's parents did not have Apple-related cutie marks. The mystery behind these two thickened during the episode Where the Apple Lies when they were noticeably missing even though all signs point toward Apple Bloom not being born yet. After all, at this point in time, Filthy Rich and Spoiled Milk had not been married yet, which meant Diamond Tiara most likely hasn't been born yet and she's supposedly around the same age as Apple Bloom. The absence of Applejack's parents has led many to come up with theories such as Apple Bloom being adopted or... well, uh... <laughs> Of course, many of such theories make the assumption that Applejack's parents were already dead at this point in time. After all, if they weren't dead, where were they? There's also the matter of Big Mac and Applejack talking about taking over the farm with no mention of their parents whatsoever. And whether it's me running Sweet Apple Acres or you, I know it'll be in good hooves. It's been outright confirmed at this point that Applejack's parents were already dead. The question is, however, is when did they pass away? I believe that those two passed away sometime after the events of Where the Apple Lies and their absence could be explained by them being explorers or traveling sales ponies. On Lauren Faust's Deviant Art page, she once stated that there was brief discussion of them being traveling sales ponies or explorers. Well, what if that was true as well? Before Applejack's parents passed away, they were explorers. It would certainly explain a lot. Not just their absence during the flashbacks, mind you, but also why they weren't mentioned at all as taking over Sweet Apple Acres at any point in time. Perhaps they were simply busy following their destinies and had no intention of ever taking over the farm. Perhaps they returned to the farm when Applejack's mother was pregnant with Apple Bloom. They let Granny take over raising the kids so that they can focus on their careers as travelers. I mean, hey, Granny's family and Applejack and Big Mac's cutie marks are related to farming. That means that for those two, being raised by Granny would be best for them, as opposed to the kind of lifestyle two explorers could provide. Also, remember, at one point it was considered okay for Applejack to permanently move to Manhattan and live with her aunt and uncle Orange, so we know that this kind of thing would be considered normal for them. It's also possible that Applejack's parents technically resided at Sweet Apple Acres but would regularly travel for extended periods of time. It would also have been during a traveling expedition when tragedy struck and they passed away. Eh, I just like the idea of them leading an epic adventurous lifestyle while they were still alive. It would also be a nice little twist if they weren't the farm ponies we all assumed they were just because of the family they're a part of. In fact, assuming that this is all true, then this might make for an interesting story. Remember how Apple Bloom was worried at one point about getting a cutie mark that had nothing to do with apples? She was worried that she'd have to change her name and move out. <gasps> what if it's not Mabel? I have to move out? Where will I live? Of course, we all know that her family would never kick her out or anything like that. She would still very much be a part of the family, Apple cutie mark or not. Still, what if there was a pony who was born into this family but didn't get an Apple-related cutie mark? What if this is exactly what happened to Apple Bloom's father? Considering his absence, he would make for a poor example for why Apple Bloom shouldn't worry about the same thing happening to her. What if everything that Apple Bloom feared actually happened to her father? Could her father have been kicked out of the family because of his cutie mark? Eh, uh, well, I doubt Granny Smith would ever do anything like that to her own child. But we know nothing about her husband. 
Perhaps there was a falling out and Applejack's father made it a point that he was never going to take over the farm. Big Mac and Applejack, on the other hoof, may take over the farm one day, which is why they were left in Granny's care in the first place. Actually, knowing this show, Applejack's father most likely got the support he needed from his parents to follow his destiny of becoming an explorer. When he married a mare who was just as much of an explorer as he was, they continued their traveling lifestyle, making regular expeditions that took them away from home for long periods of time. As a result, when they had children, they relied on Granny Smith, who was more than happy to take care of her three grandchildren. Shortly after Apple Bloom was born, they went on one final expedition, and never returned. So what do you think? Could Applejack's parents have been explorers whose cutie marks have nothing to do with apples? Could this be the real reason why they were absent during those two flashbacks? Did they pass away due to an exploration mission gone wrong? Leave your comments below and let me know! Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it! Lauren Fauces- Lauren Fauces Deviant Art Page On On Lauren Faust's Deviant Art page, she once stated that there was brief discussion of them being traveling sales ponies or explorers. It would also be a nice little twist if they weren't the farm ponies. It would also be a nice little twist. It would also be a nice little twist if they weren't the farm ponies we all assumed they were, just because of the family they're a part of.